CSI 2140. Analyze mode, experts, goes down, peak and face. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek and in this video tutorial I will show you how to use the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer to measure goes down, peak and face measurements. This is normally used to detect resonance frequencies on rotating equipment. You are seeing now the home screen of the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer in front of you. To activate this feature, go to F7 Advanced Analyze, then go to More Experts F7, and here F5 you have a setup pre-configured goes down, peak and face. Normally before we start the data there are two things to verify. The first thing to verify is go to Manual Analyze. And Normally this will be configured to use with one sensor in so you will collect data in one direction. However, natural frequencies are very sensitive for direction. They are normally different in any direction. So it makes a lot of sense to collect the data in the three directions. And now with the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer, you can collect the data in the three directions during one measurement. So I will go to F12 input setup to activate more channels and the first thing to do here is F1 select input and I activate also channel B and C. So now you can measure the three directions with three sensors or you can use a triac sensor. The second thing to check is go to text setup and make sure that you have a text signal. So I go to tax setup. In this case, I have a magnetic pickup, so the power is off, and I have a trigger level of 12 volt negative, show RPM, and the speed is coming in, so my trigger is okay. When I push start, data collection will begin. and I can stop the machine now. So the speed is going down and for every channel you see the amplitude and the phase immediately. And when the machine is at almost zero speed, you can stop data collection. Press enter to view the data. And now for your three directions, A, B and C, you see the runout of the speed versus the amplitude. If you want to see also the phase plots, go to switch plot type. And now for every plot, you have four plots maximum available. You can specify what you want to see. And if you want to see only, for example, channel A, change plot 2 and 3. So plot 3, I'm going to activate the Nyquist. And plot 2, I'm going to ask the border of channel A. So now you have the border plot and an Nyquist plot for channel A. When you go to switch plot type F6, you can also change the plot in a quad view. When you go to the phase plot, with shift plot 90 degrees, you can shift the plot always with 90 degrees. On the Amplitude plot, you can install a cursor and you can read your two natural frequencies. In this case, they are around 1430 RPM and and 1900 RPM. If you divide this number by 60, you have the values in Hertz. 
go back to old one page go to switch plot type and if you want you can do the same for channel B and now you have the information for your channel B and with switch plot you can also recall the data of channel C and this data can be stored in the job mode we are now at the end of this video tutorial please visit our website at www.assetweb.com-mhm for other video tutorials and product information my name is Johan van Pijnbroek thank you for watching this video tutorial